Okay, C. Lindelof videos, solving trigonometric equations. Here we have solve 2 sine theta plus square root 3 is equal to 0 on the interval. Please be careful. This is an interval. On the interval, 0 to 2 pi. Remember, if the brackets are square, then this means this. If the brackets are, if the brackets are round, then the value is not included. It's kind of like this as a number line. Here we have this in included at zero, and we go all the way out to two pi, two pi, not included. So be careful with these square bra with these brackets. This is actually called a half open interval. So and there's a lot of uh, interval notation. You see it a lot in in trig and calculus. So there's that. There's tons of ways to solve this. The one thing that seems to bother a lot of people is this sine theta. So sometimes what I just do is I say somewhere here. Let x equal sine theta just for a second. So, okay, now I have 2x plus square root 3 is equal to 0. And I'm going to solve for x and get uh, 2x is equal to negative square root 3. Divide both sides by 2 gives me x is equal to square root opposite square root 3 over 2. So then, as I, so then I get this value. I'm like, okay. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to substitute this back in and say, remember that I said that sine, that x is sine of theta. I say, okay, well, sine of theta is equal to opposite square root three over two. Now all I'm going to do is go to the unit circle and figure out when is that true. So I, I'm going to get this. This presents it's a relatively easy question. So I'm just going to go to the unit circle, and as I look at the unit circle, I'm going to say, well, here it is, at Remember, it's cosine sine. Now I'm looking for opposite square root 3 over 2, so 5 pi thirds. And over here also at 4 pi thirds, that sine value. That is honestly all there is to it, except for to write any answers. So people really, really overthink these on a, on a simple level. So I'm not going to say sine of theta equals. I have to say theta, right? Theta equals 4 pi thirds. Whoops. 4 pi thirds or theta equals 5 pi thirds. And those are my two, my two answers. All right, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to do a couple more today that are a little bit more involved, but this is a good start. So I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and your comments are always welcome. Thanks, you guys.